Leah here. Welcome back to another planner video on my channel. Today I have for you guys a new Kit Life planner. I am so excited about this. I do have a previous review of a Kit Life planner back in 2018. And then in 2019, I posted one on my nail channel because it kind of tied into like a how I stay organized in the nail studio video. This is my third Kit Life planner. I love the Kit Life planners. I love the layouts of them. I love how functional they are. I love how unique they are. Especially if you're wanting a planner that you don't really have to like customize or do too much with. It's just like ready to go right out of the box. This is the 2020 version. Uh, they have a couple different covers. This is the one that I have. It comes in this really nice box that you could easily like repurpose for some other use around your house. I absolutely love the look of this planner. So this one that I have is the weekly one. They do have a daily one and I'm just gonna show you guys my 2019 daily one uh, just so we can kind of refresh what the memory of a daily looks like. This planner is the daily one. This is the weekly. You can see how much thicker it is. Uh, so the weekly is significantly smaller. Obviously there's a lot less pages in it. Now let's just quickly kind of chat about the 2019 one that I was using last year. So I use this mainly in my nail studio. Uh, let me find, see if I can find a week that I... Keep in mind the dailies for 2020 look a little bit different than that. This is the general idea of what the layout looks like for a daily. So we have our to-do list at the top. We have an hourly section here. Uh, we have big three, be well, daily gratitude, and then inspirational quotes throughout the entire book. I added just some note papers in the back, but there are different options that you can do with it. I absolutely love this layout. Pretty busy days where you just need to keep track of a running to-do list, maybe a couple of appointments going on. A couple things that didn't really work for me was having the weekend on one page. For me, weekends are super busy. I work on weekends a lot of the time and my I need like an hourly structure sort of for weekends. I love this peak of the week though. This I really, really loved this when I was using this page. Um, the reason I'm showing you guys these pages is because this is the day Violet was born. So I was not using a planner this week. So I just can give you guys an idea of like the gist of what the daily looks like. Okay, so a couple of things. I really liked having like a month set up. I like that I didn't feel like I needed to really decorate this so much. I was using like a couple meal planner stickers. I, I loved using the hourly, especially for when I have clients. Like you guys can see, I have the peak of the week set up here. I mainly use this for wheel, meal planning, uh, but I loved having like my running to-do list. If I didn't feel like using it for one week or one day, I didn't. So what I was finding is with this planner is that I really missed having the whole week on two pages. I missed seeing what was going on for the entire week versus just day to day. And if I needed to reference back to what was happening on the week, I kept having to go back to the month, uh, which just was not functioning very well for me. So eventually this planner moved back into my nail studio and I would use it on the days that I was really busy doing a bunch of stuff in the studio. That's when I started moving into the happy planner is because I could customize it for whatever was working for me. So now that I kind of have more of like a set schedule of things that are going on all of the time. I'm finding that I don't have an, a lot of time to kind of sit down and set up weeks all the time. I was super intrigued about kit life again. And here we are with a weekly layout. So this is the 2020 weekly layout. Um, we have this nice pocket folder in the front here for just some little things. Uh, there was not a pocket folder in the 2019 one. Um, this is like a neutral layout, whereas this one here is a colorful. I'm actually really pumped about the neutral one. Um, that way I can customize it or not. I can kind of just leave it open. So when you first open the planner up, we have a nice little motivational page at the front. I like not only is it a functional week planner for like your daily life, it's also a goal setting planner and it's super motivational, which is another thing I love about Kit Life. So we start off with a habit section over here. Then we move into some wellness sections over here, some different goals. Oh, I love this. I love that this combines like a planner and a goal planner. Notes section, then we jump into January, which when I'm showing you guys this, January has already happened. I'm not gonna start using this planner until the middle of February, but I still wanted to make sure that I was showing you the entire layout here. I love that they do this here too. Just a couple extra little things that they put in. And again, motivational quotes. You guys are gonna find that throughout the entire planner. This is our monthly layout. I'm loving the neutral on here. I love that we have a peek at the calendar before, um, February, and then some goals. I don't find that I generally use a lot of space on the sidebars in monthly layouts. So for me, this would function okay, not having too much room to write things on. Uh, generally, I use this for standing appointments or for budgeting. 
And then this is the weekly layout. I love this so much. I love that there's like small to do section up here, or you can put your appointments, you can put your meal planning, anything like that. And then we do have an hourly section. I have been wanting to get into like block scheduling and setting up like hourly structures in my planner. So this combines both of those two worlds really, really nicely. Then we also have a running to do list on the side, which you can customize for however you need it to. I love that there's a weekly gratitude in here, a be well section, a self care section, and then some motivational quotes here too. Another thing I love is that Saturday and Sunday have their own like designated size here. It's the same amount of size because I find, like I said, weekends are really busy for us. So we are losing that peak at the week here, but you could easily do a peak of the week on the side over here. I love the fonts. I love how neutral this is. So that is all for the weeks. And then when you get to your end of the month here, we have a notes section and then we have a January budget section. Love this. I have a budget section set up in my happy planner that personally is not really functioning very well for me. This I think will function really nicely for how I need to uh, set up a monthly budget. Monthly reflection, I really like this especially for goal setting. Monthly aspirations, some stuff that you want to do for the following month. And then a habit tracker on the side here, again love this, especially if you're going to take like a mild liner or a highlighter or something and just kind of fill everything in. You could do this as daily habits or mood tracking, anything like that. There's so much you can customize this for. Or then we have another note page right here, which I love. And then we jump into the next month. So I'm really liking how this is laid out. I'm excited to start working with it. I like that I can dive in without having to really decorate it. But if you wanted to decorate it and make it a little bit more uh, pretty or functional, you could easily do that as well too. I do hope to have a plan with me up for you guys, showing you guys how I'm gonna be using this. Next week, I'm just gonna dive in and start using it. This is an off week because my daughter has no school this week. Um, there's a holiday here, so it's a completely off week and I don't really want to show you guys how I'm going to use it as an off week, but the following week, if I can kind of get my groove for how I'm going to use this, I will do a plan with me on how I intend to use this. When I initially discovered the Kit Life Daily Planner, I was watching, I think it was Happily Housewife's channel, and I was just finding that I was not liking the way the EC was laid out for me, and when she showed the Daily Planner, I was just hooked. I wanted to try it so bad, and I'm so pumped to try out a weekly here, but I wanted to give you guys another option for something to use, especially because I know that I feature a ton of Happy Planner stuff lately on my channel, but I do still have like a place in my heart for the Kit Life Planner, so I wanted to share the 2020 version with you guys as well. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!